Hello and welcome to GDB World. Today we'll be looking at how we can add additional details to our base rock generator that we created in part one. If you missed part one, it will be linked in the description below. Um, otherwise, I'd like to start out the video by having a look at some of the primary nodes. First node that we'll be looking at would be the quantize node. So this node's really powerful node. Um, essentially, uh, the main purpose that I've used it in this one is to create a rock stepping effect. And this is quite a common effect you see in many cliff face materials uh, or even lava. Sometimes if you want to create a bit of a flowy effect, it can give you that flow. How it works is it takes a gradient, so that's from zero to one, and essentially it takes us from a nice smooth gradient to a gradient that has banding so it removes a whole bunch of the stepping in between. Next we're using the shadow node for a water damage dripping effect as well as some masking to be used with the quantize nodes as well as some methods for blending secondary shapes on top of the primary shape. Uh, the method contains a non-uniform blur grayscale for softening the values, histogram scan to create a control mask for the sharpness and then we're using two blend shapes one as a subtract and then one as a min lighten for laying the shape on top of it and finally we have the noises we've got crystals one clouds one black and white spots one fractal sun base and perlin noise uh, one thing you'll notice when I tend to use noises, I do like to use a directional warp with them. This is just to apply a nice direction and get a bit more of a flow with the noise. It also removes a little bit of the sort of tailing effect that you can get with certain noises. And with that, I'm going to leave you with the playback of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and I hope you'll have a lovely day.